Now let me explain, if you haven't been to London for some time, you may be in for a shock, particularly if you go down our premier shopping street, that is Oxford Street. I know many of you, like me, enjoyed that wonderful series, Mr. Selfridge. And when you think about, you know, the shops of the past, literally every major store, all the luxury brands were there. Now, in 2024, the place looks like a third world country, and we all know who we've got to thank for that, right? But what's fascinating is this, that now apparently they're going to make it even worse, but it's all in the good of you and I who want to go shopping in this once luxurious basic street here in the very heart of London. Let me explain. Morning, good to see you. Thank you so much as ever for taking the time out to join me. Uh, you know, we used to love doing that, didn't we? When you were younger, going down Oxford Street, it was marvellous to go in all those big shops. You didn't need to afford anything. It was just the allure of looking in the window and wondering, of course, who could afford those things, you know? I used to spend hours in the HMV record store just looking at all the new releases, couldn't afford them, but it was just a nice, gentle way of passing the time. Oxford Street was a place, definitely, that you wanted to visit if you were coming to the the very heart of London, not anymore. But according to the current Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, his plan in the next two years alongside the Deputy Prime Minister Angela Rayner is to fully pedestrianise Oxford Street, get rid of all the buses. Now, the, the street itself is an incredibly long street, right? Now, my worry is this, when you go to Oxford Street, you know, the stores, your favourite ones like Marks and Spencers can be one end and say Primark or whatever, right down the other end. It's a long walk. That's why we all hop on and hop off buses and stuff. Tubes don't cut it because you've got to climb up and down the stairs. It's a lot harder, right? Now, according to this particular brand new idea, this will make Oxford Street fully pedestrianised and you'll be able to get on a bike and cruise up and down. Of course, there's no mention of the fact that the rising crime, pickpockets and phones being stolen, etc. Well, no, that didn't really mention that bit, you know. But the true story is this. They just want to get you off the road. You know, if you're not going to buy an electric car, then you're simply not going to be part of the gang. And what's fascinating is this, I haven't just spoken to many shopkeepers along uh, Oxford Street itself. They're very concerned indeed, because this will see uh, literally a dilapidation of trade. People won't walk all that way up to the middle of the street to go and visit a store. It will simply kiss the street off. People will start to shop more and more online, and that will be the end of this once famous street. What I'd love to know, and I don't know if you feel the same way, is first of all, have you shopped up Oxford Street? Do you remember it in the golden days when it was a glitzy event, particularly at Christmas time, all that sort of stuff? Or indeed, would you now come back? And if it was fully pedestrianised, well, would it matter to you? And would you carry on walking all that way? Whether you've got assistance with a mobility scooter or whatever, it's still a long way to walk, isn't it? Store to store. Apparently they think that this is exactly what Londoners want. A lot of kickbacks are coming because where are the buses going to go if they're not going to go off Oxford Street? Nobody's thought of that as ever. A half-cocked plan. But is it one that you would like? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.